Well, thank you, Miss Buds, for that warm introduction. How's everybody doing this morning? Well, I'm excited to hear that. What a great day it is to be a Trick County and a citizen of Kays as we see all our community members come together for such a wonderful time at our annual Rotary Breakfast. So before I begin, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the theme. The theme this year was how a Rotary serves humanity. So that's a pretty broad topic, so it was kind of difficult to cover. So being a millennial, in order to cover it, I did the first thing necessary. I pulled out my phone. <laughs> so I did something really simple. I googled the definition of humanity, and the definition I got was the human race collectively. So again, that's pretty broad. So how does Rotary come to serve all these people? Well, to start, I'd like to go with Rotary's founding. Rotary was founded in 1905 with a service above self-commitment. So we're off to a good start there. They want to serve everyone and get involved with everyone. You've heard so many people talk today about our youth and seniors. And that's how I think we all come together to serve humanity. So today I really have two parts of my speech. How I've seen Rotary serve humanity outside of Trick County and mainly what's most important to me, what Trick County Rotary has done for me and why I think that's so important to the topic. So to start off, the first example I saw of Rotary serving humanity outside of Trick County was I googled an article, again with the smartphone, I saw that a Rotary Club in Western Michigan was helping a local church group. The goal this year was to feed a thousand families in their community. Um, as the time was coming for Thanksgiving, their funding was down, they didn't have many volunteers, then they reached out to their local Rotary. And with several community leaders volunteering, uh, donations being made, volunteer hours being worked, not only did they feed a thousand families, I think they fed around 2,321, so that's doubling that goal. And when you think about that, it's easy to get stuck on the number. I don't like to get stuck on the number. What I like to get stuck on is the effort. That means that several community leaders took their time, either their finances, or just the spirit and generosity of their heart to help these people. And that's what's so important. You know, you look on the news these, this time of the year, or any time you look on the news and you see all this negativity in the world. And that's something I think that we can be proud of with Rotary, is they genuinely want to help people. And that's what being a human is really all about. The second part of my speech is more about what Rotary has done for me and why I think that's so important, as with all of Tree County students. So beginning of my second grade year, this is the first time Rotary had an impact on my life. You see, I wasn't always the best student. I was fairly average or below average, you could call it. But I remember one day in second grade, my reading teacher, I, I believe it was Miss Wendy Futrell, came up to me and said, Grayson, you're going to receive a Rotary medal for being the most improved reading average. I said, Ms. Future, what does that mean? And she said, well, you're going to get a medal on the gymnasium floor. I said, well, okay. <laughs> I was a shy kid. I didn't really know what any of that meant. So as I went up there and I got my medal, I saw all these community leaders, family members, all these people that were so proud of such what I considered maybe a minuscule accomplishment. But they were so proud of me, and I just noticed how really proud they were. And some of them weren't even related to me or hardly knew me. They were just proud to see the youth succeed in our county. And that's just not something you run across every day. So growing up to the next chapter in my life was my sixth grade year. Um, at this time, I'm a better student, kind of in the top of my class, doing the best I can to prepare myself and challenge myself academically. But I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. So the time came for KY, and that's the Kentucky Youth Assembly, and that's something I've been very involved in growing up. What actually inspired me to found our Y Club at our high school. What this is, is it's several students going to the Capitol to present and vote on different bills, legislation, and judicial programs. Now, my sixth grade year was my first year. I wrote a bill about having an animal cruelty list related to a sex offenders list. I thought that would be a great idea, something that the Commonwealth might need. So I'd already written the bill and it was sent in and it was good to go to the Capitol. However, I didn't know if we were gonna get to go. The coordinator of that program, my aunt, Miss Robin Ford Stagger, comes to me and says, you know, our funding might be low this year, we might not get to go. But the Rotary stepped in. They wrote us a check for, I think, over $1,000 for our transportation costs, and that led, I think, around it was 50 students to go to this assembly. And it was here that I developed a passion for civics and government, and it's something I want to continue in my secondary education. But going to this program wouldn't have been possible if the Rotary hadn't reached down deep into their hearts and given us this money so that different students could succeed. Now we go on to my freshman year. I was a shy freshman. I didn't really know. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't really know how to get there. I've had several other students come and help me with different things like that, so I decided I wanted to join DECA. DECA is a marketing association of different students, all ages in high school and some collegiate levels. 
I decided that I wanted to do DECA and I actually made it to nationals my first year. It was extremely difficult and I was really proud of what I had done. But as the problem with anything is, funding. So we go to our Rotary Club and we present that we want to go to internationals and we're asking them for a sponsorship. They gave us $1,000 and that was $100 per each student. Now again, that sounds like such a number, number, number. But the most important thing really, except for the thousand dollars, was that was ten students that they were given an opportunity to compete on an international level and better themselves with education and competition. And I think that's so very important. Now we go to my junior year of high school. Again, I'm looking to challenge myself academically. So I hear about this opportunity called Thoroughbred Academy. This is a program where around 20 high school students from their junior and senior year can participate in college courses and the Rotary pays for each and every bit of your class tuition. And because of these classes and finishing up my senior year, I will, have my soft, I will be a sophomore when I attend the University of Louisville this fall. And that's something that's truly incredible because they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to take a gamble on my education. They didn't have to invest in it. But they considered my education worth investing in as they consider so many of our students' education worth investing in. And I think that's really a positive and powerful message because they didn't have to do that. That's something they did out of the kindness of their heart. And this year, different opportunities, of course, I'll be applying for Rotary scholarships. Whether I get them or not, I'm still gonna get to see different lives of students impacted out of the generosity of the Katie's Rotary. And this year, the Rotary, to my student organization known as DECA, they're sitting way back there in the back. They actually get doubled the amount of money they gave more than that, it's actually $3,150. So I'd like to have everybody give the Rotary a round of applause for that because that was truly generous and I appreciate it. <laughs> and you know, different things grow with you as a high schooler. You challenge yourself academically, but DECA is one thing that I've been really, really proud of. I've been super proud to be a president this year. And rather than being the freshman this year and being the president, it was a different role. Instead of being a student that was going and challenging myself, now I get to witness underclassmen, people who I've worked with, and people who I'm proud to hand the organization off to next year, get to compete on an international stage. What we're doing here is impacting these kids' lives, and I truly, truly appreciate it. You know, it's a different point of view when you're part of something and when you're leading it. And it was kind of a way for me to see how impactful it really was, so I want to thank you all for that. In closing, the Rotary has done so much for me, but how does this impact humanity? Well, the theme this year was, how does the Rotary serve humanity? Well, they've made my dreams a reality. And that's so important because if one person can help out another, then that hand of generosity extends. And helping people is a theme of human life that's never gonna change, it's a constant. But not everybody believes in that. So when you find the people who do, you have to come together. At the Rotary meeting where I presented this speech, the biggest thing they talked about was how to recruit future Rotarians. Well, I can say this. You've recruited me. Thank you all so much. I hope you all enjoy the breakfast, and thank you so much for what you do for our community. Thanks again.